Right, evening. Um, let's start. So I'm just wanting to explain to you all uh, the problem I had with my Insignia, 2009 Vauxhall Insignia with a uh, two litre CDTI, the A20 DTH engine, I think. Um, Basically, I had a water leak from the EGR cooler tank, um, which is this bit here. Um, now, I can't find where it was leaking from, but this was leaking. So I got a new one, which was actually the wrong one. I had to modify it to make it fit, so that was a a story for another time. So I, I fit that, uh, the leak stopped, um, but then I had no engine power. Um, I've got an OBD2 reader, Bluetooth device. I've got an app on my phone where I can see uh, all the engine data uh, and it was telling me there was zero boost, uh, no boost whatsoever. So, start to investigate uh, and just to explain how the boost works on this car um, watched a few videos about boost control solenoid which is this here um, it uses vacuum to control the variable geometry turbo to create and control boost there's no waste gate and in these pipes is a vacuum. Okay, so this is a bit hot, so I don't want to burn fingers, but just there, that little bit there, that is the control rod for the variable geometry turbo, the tur turbine in this, the hot side of the turbo. So when that, oops, when that goes down, you have full boost. Or maximum boost let's say just to simplify it when it's up at the top where it is now it's spring loaded when it's up at the top you have no boost okay so when there is a vacuum on the actuator which is hidden below the turbo that pulls down um, to give boost okay so a little fun fact this engine uh, when it's um, idling it's actually producing a tiny bit of boost in the in the inlet system, in the intercooler, in the inlet manifold, um, which is surprising, actually. Uh, normally, you don't get boost idle on engines, but this one has a tiny bit, according to the, its own sensors. Anyway, right, so vacuum, vacuum in there that pulls down, creates boost. So that meant that somewhere in all these hoses I had a leak um, because there was um, sorry backtrack a little bit so no boost so I f was checking all this and I thought tell you what let's let's do a bypass so I took this pipe off this pipe goes down to the EGR cooler which is this job and you actually have, oh, where's it gone now? Oops. Okay. One, two, three hose connectors there, and one hose connector there. This is a vacuum manifold. It's a just distribution block for the vacuum. So this pipe goes to there, this, is a vacuum pump which is spun by the camshaft this pipe is your vacuum going to your brake booster to give you uh, extra brake force so your vacuum pump so this line goes to there which is then distributed to these two the middle one's blocked off the one at the back goes to an actuator on a valve on which goes into the EGR cooler so I presume that opens and closes to cool or warm up 
the, uh, the EGR, exhaust gas recirculation. Uh, anyway, that's what that does. And then the front, the front connector, which I've snapped off, goes to this. <sighs> right, losing track of where I am now, Willis. So, uh, I connected, I pulled this pipe off, which comes off nice and easy, like it does now that I've messed about with so much. I connected this straight to here. Okay, when the engine's running, you can actually hear it hissing and pumping your jersey. That's a vacuum on there. So when I connected them that to that, the rod went all the way to the bottom, and I took it out for a drive and I had full boost. So in this instance, my boost problem was no vacuum. It was not this. Uh, the boost control solenoid, it was no vacuum, there was no warning lights, no error messages, no fault codes, no nothing. So if your car loses boost and you've got no error messages, watch out for this. Now I've done some investigation, so, I've, so somewhere there was a vacuum leak and all this. This is a solenoid that controls the valve under here for the EGR cooler. Um, this pipe here. So I've decided to bypass this. I've put in this plastic. Oh no. A little caps on at the end. I've bypassed it. I've put in this plastic pipe into that tube, which then goes down into the uh, cooler, which is that one there at the back reconnected all the pipes and it works up the car works absolutely fine which would suggest that this thing is a leaking vacuum which caused my boost issue so I've actually taken it out uh, and, and unplugged it there's no error messages on the dashboard so I don't think the car knows it's missing um, what I could do is, I could actually, um, this connector's got a stupid bloody uh, yellow uh, blue plastic security tag on it. Alright, twat to uh, to get off. Um, so I couldn't get it off until I got it in my hands. So I could reconnect this, reconnect the hoses but not the electrical connector and see if it still leaks. Or I just bypass it altogether and just leave it out. For me... This car's been remapped, it's got a few mods on it. I can't be asked with this. I'm just gonna leave it out. The EGR, when I got it remapped, I asked the guy to cancel exhaust gas recirculation, so it shouldn't even do that anymore. So that shouldn't even get hot because there's no exhaust gases in there anyway. So I'm gonna pull them back in the valve so the valve's always open. Um, and I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Um, just a fun fact. On my car, I've got a three inch exhaust that sticks out the side. Um, if you look at my previous videos, you'll see me making an exhaust for it. So I've got the, um, uh, I've, I've got no DPF, but I've still got a cat. And then just after the cat, it goes to three inch and it goes all the way back. Now, going back to the uh, variable geometry turbo, when that is all the way at the top using the spring pressure, and there's no boost, the exhaust is very, very loud, very loud. Um, when there is vacuum and that's working properly and that goes to the bottom, the exhaust gets a lot quieter, which just goes to show that the, uh, the variable geometry turbo, it's actually when the, um, when the vanes close to create boost, it becomes a much more, more of a, a silencer than when the valves are open. So I might, if I can, I'll uh, add in a clip to this me boring stuff we're talking. <laughs>
So my solution was bypass this. I'm going to tidy up all these uh, hoses. I'm going to put in a nice new hose so you won't even know it's been changed. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd put that up there. If you've got insignia, no power, no fault codes. Yes, it might be that, but in my instant, in my case, it was this. And this mounts uh, on that plate, and that plate is back under there. I'm making a mess of it now. So that's why it sits down under there. Right, so 10 minutes in, I'm off now, so uh, yeah, if that's helpful, uh, let me know. Cheers.